please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. When you've joined us on our auto selector segment here on the show, where our overdrive editor Shumi will answer all of your queries. Hi Shumi, our first question this week comes in from Rajat. He wants to buy a 110cc scooter and has a budget of 70,000 rupees. He wants to know whether the Honda Activa 5G is a good buy or is there any other scooter that he should go for? Rajat, the Activa 5G is the safest scooter you could buy with your money, but it's not the best scooter, I think. You'd get better value for about the same amount of money if, for example, you went for the Access 125. I know I'm asking you to increase the displacement of the scooter you're buying, but trust me, it's a far superior scooter in practically every way you can think of, and I don't think the price is significantly higher. Within the 110cc scooters, though, you've also got some solid options. If you want something sporty, look at the Scooty Zest. It's brilliant, but it's very, very underrated. Sharing the engine with that is the usual alternative to the Activa, and that would be the Jupiter. Well, our next question, Shumi, comes in from Cheng Fung. He says that he wants to buy two automatic petrol cars. One is for city driving, and he's currently looking at either the Ready Go, the Silario, or the Quit. The price bracket would be between 4.5 to 6 lakh rupees. The second car is for driving out station about 300 kilometers once in a month. His shortlist is uh, the Baleno CVT, the Nissan Micra, or the Ignis. Price is about 8 to 8.5 lakh rupees. That is what he is ready to shell out. Is it worth the pay or should he shell out a lakh more for the Baleno CVT? Chen, I would start your search at the Quid. The Renault Quid won our uh, small car test very recently. The option to that is the Maruti Celerio, which we've also really enjoyed having on a long-term fleet. So those are the two cars that I would say you need to pick between for your city car. For the highway car, I think the choice is much simpler. The Bellino CVT just blows everything else out of the water and that's, that's just the car you should be looking for. Well, our final question this week comes in from Sushrut. Uh, he writes in saying that off late he has noticed some clattery noise from under the front lower area of his Duke 390 under acceleration but not at a constant speed. It feels something that is about to snap on the motorcycle. What could it be? Sushrut, old motorcycles rattle a bit. There's no getting away from it. Uh, in the specific case of the KTM, check your belly pan. That's probably where the noise is coming from and when they get loose it does make a something's about to break clattery kind of noise. Not really a critical problem. I've had it on mine too. But honestly, there is no confidence with which I can give you this judgment because Diagnosing a noise remotely over television, it's really, really hard to do accurately.